endocarditis, again, being an inflammation of the lining of the heart, is something that can be expected or, or it's a higher risk in someone who has some type of defect in the heart that might aggregate bacteria and cause inflammation. If you are one of those people, then you should take an antibiotic before being treated. Now, here's the more controversial piece. You don't want to treat someone with an antibiotic if they don't really need it because it diminishes the effect of the antibiotic in the general population for years to come. Obviously, if they do need it, you want to make sure they get it because, you know, you don't want to have endocarditis because the morbidity associated with that is significant. So, when do you do it, when don't you do it? Again, it depends on what your cardiologist feels your fragility is or, or what your um, heart condition is, and it depends on the procedure. If the procedure is really not going to cause any bleeding or anything to be poked in the gums or like real heavy cleaning where they're digging down into the gums, then you don't need um, coverage. But if you're going to be doing something that is significantly invasive and your cardiologist also says that you have um, a heart defect that qualifies, then that's when you do need it.